Hello everyone. We are back again. So today uh, we have a useful and valuable uh, presentation about again useful and valuable words and uh, expressions. Yes, uh, I hope uh, this video will be uh, a useful and valuable video. Okay, let me share our presentation and start. Okay. Yes. Hello and welcome back again. Yes, our topic uh, will be about every sum. Okay. Every the uh, indefinite pronoun every uh, remains the same. It doesn't have any variations, but some, when it comes to some, it has uh, some variation. It changes uh, according to uh, the sentence or question form. Okay. Uh, for example, some becomes any or no, and something, anything, nothing, Everything, but everything, everybody, everywhere uh, remains the same. But uh, with some, we also say as indefinite pronouns, something, somebody, somewhere. Yes. Okay, let's go ahead. For example, as a starter, as an attention pointer, uh, let's have a dialogue like this. Is money everything? A. Is every uh, is everything is everything attitude? Yeah, the intonation is really important. Is everything attitude? The total of uh, behaviors, manner. Yeah, is everything manner? Yes, everything is attitude, or attitude is everything. What else is everything? Consistency, coherence, yeah. Coherence is everything. Balance is everything. Punctuality, for example. Punctuality is everything for an individual. Family is everything. Diplomacy is everything, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But what, when it comes to plural, of course, love and trust are everything. So mutual love and mutual trust are everything. Imagination and conservatism is everything. We cannot think of imagination without conservatism. We cannot think of conservatism without imagination. So both of them are uh, essential, are valuable uh, human abilities, human qualities. Okay. Self-expression and self-assertion, for instance. Yes. Let's take a look at the images. One says, uh, money isn't everything, but happiness is. Happiness is everything. Now, uh, the second image, you are free to express yourself as long as if you do not say anything. So, this isn't a positive attitude. It's a negative Despotic, yeah, tyrannic uh, attitude. Okay, it's not a positive attitude because he says you are free to express yourself as long as you do not say anything without saying anything. How can I express myself? How can I express or assert myself? I can, how can I tell my opinions without, without, without uh, saying anything? Okay, so the, the freedom of speech is very important. It's a right, uh, it's a right, human right for everyone. Okay, of course, it's a caricature, just a caricature. Okay, attention, please. 
sum becomes any and no, so uh, it becomes, for something becomes anything, uh, somebody becomes anybody, somewhere becomes anywhere or nowhere. Okay. The first fridge refrigerator asks a question. Is there anything to eat in you? There is nothing in me. I am empty. Hmm, yes, because it is empty, there is nothing in it. Uh, there isn't anything in it. Is there anything in it? No, there is nothing in it, or there isn't anything in it. So imagination is really important. Vocabulary, uh, vocabulary is we find we find vocabulary or passive vocabulary is uh, is found in dictionaries. Dictionaries are the source of words and expressions. But of course, uh, to be able to use the vocabulary, vocabularies as you, everybody knows, uh, is grammar. Grammar is the source of how to use them. Okay, so uh, A, uh, let's take a look at the images. For example, the first one, I see nothing, I hear nothing. It's a famous saying, in fact. I didn't see anything, I didn't hear anything. I know nothing means uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know anything, yes. Okay, or I don't see now, right now, because the C doesn't take ING. I see nothing, I hear nothing, I know nothing. Okay. Do you see anything in the fridge, in the refrigerator? Do you see anything in the fridge now? Do you see? No, I see nothing in it. Do you know anything about lost fried chicken? No, I know nothing about it. Or... No, I don't know anything about it. Yes, just like present continuous tense. It is, its message is just like present continuous tense. For example, I am talking now. You are listening now. I am explaining now. So I know or I don't know. I am not reading now, for example. I am not walking now. I am talking now. Just like it is, I know nothing about it. I don't know anything about it. Okay. Is everything all right? Okay. Uh, although I decided uh, to keep my explanation explanations short, uh, but let me tell this again. Everything rem uh, everything remains the same in questions and in positive and negative sentences. Okay. There is no change in it. It remains original. It is always everything. Is everything all right? Unfortunately, no. Everything isn't all, uh, isn't all right. There is something wrong with this project. Shall we not uh, shall we not do anything about it? What does the image say? Let's do something about it. Let's do something about it. Means we can do something about it. Okay. Trip four. Uh, something, anything, nothing, and everything. Dialogue one. There isn't anything in the fridge. There is nothing in the fridge. Both have the same message. Is there anything in the basket? Yes, there is something in it. Is there a bouquet of roses? A bunch of grapes? A bunch of daisies? Or a bunch of bananas in the basket? Let's take a look at the basket. Or... Oh. There is, uh, there is a bouquet of roses. There is a bouquet of roses in the basket. Who will buy everything? Who will buy everything? Aisha will buy everything, but Murat will not buy everything. Everything is always everything. Okay. Everybody, everyone, everything, everywhere. Yes, they all stop. Okay, they also remain the same, both in questions and sentences, as positive or negative. Can you see bananas everywhere? No, I can't see bananas everywhere. Does anybody see a banana on the plate 
or does anybody singular? But all the people is plural subject. Or do all the people see a banana on the plate? Yes, everybody sees a banana on it. Or yes, all the people see a banana on it. Will you put everything in the box? Yes, I will put everything in it, in the box. And you can take it everywhere. You can take it wherever you want. For example, this is a noun clause. You can take it wherever you want. Or you can take it everywhere. Okay. A home for everyone. A home for everyone. Everyone is at home. Okay, this, this sentence has a message. Everyone is at home. Yes, you are right. No one is out. No one is out. Okay. There are three roses, so definite. Uh, it, it has got a definite message, definite pronoun. They call it definite pronoun. About the quantity of nouns, the roses, for example. There are three roses. Okay. There is one bouquet of roses. Yes, this is definite. Okay. One is a definite pronoun here. Three is definite pronoun here. So they, do you remember they call them determiners? Yes, determiners. Uh, they determine the number uh, of uh, the quality of the nouns. Okay. There are two bunches, two bunches of grapes. This is definite. Okay. There are two bunches of grapes. How many bunches? Two bunches. There are some walnuts. Oh, or there are a lot of walnuts. There are a few walnuts. These are indefinite pronouns. There are some walnuts. Indefinite. Yes, I see. You see. Everybody sees that there are some walnuts. We don't know the number of them. We don't know the weight of them. Okay. Indefinite pronouns, some, for example, with some, uh, we produce or language produces these words, something, somebody, someone, somewhere. Okay. Just like this with any, anything, anybody or anyone, anywhere. Yeah. No, nothing, nobody, no one, nowhere. So among them, there are, I think, more than nine words, but no one is different, okay? Uh, does it take your attention? No one is, is separate from each other, but nowhere uh, is connected. They are together anywhere, anybody, anything, nothing, nobody. They are together in one word, but as, uh, as for no one, no one is in two words, okay? No one. I can see something at the window. Can you see anything by the door? Can you see anything by the door? No, I can't see anything by the door. But I can see someone in the garden. But I can see someone in the garden. He is Ali, for example. He is my brother. So I can see my brother in the garden. My here is definite pronoun, okay? Adjective pronoun and definite, my brother. But if you say, I can see someone in the garden, yes, imagine this situation. So uh, there, is, uh, there, there, isn't, uh, there isn't a certainty, there is uncertain, okay? Can you see anything in the tree? No, I can't see anything in the tree. What does the image say? Out in the garden, one fine day, and I think that they are two lines from a poem. Out in the garden, one fine day, with my ball, I went to play. Yes, day and play, they rhyme each other. Okay. Again, something, anything, nothing, uh, nothing plus. 
OK. So we learn some any no, but is it enough? No, it is not enough. We expand it to something, anything, nothing. Is it enough? No, it is not enough. What should we do? We should learn this. Something, anything, nothing, plus adjective. Okay, this is the yeah, this is the third level. Okay, this is the third level of using some, any, no. Okay, for example, there isn't anything new for the picnic. There isn't anything new for the picnic. Is there anything tasty for the picnic? No, unfortunately, there is nothing tasty for the picnic, but there is something special for the picnic. Is there anything interesting for dinner? Yes, there is uh, something interesting for dinner. Okay, for example, do you want anything to say? Yes, I have something to say. No, I have nothing to say. Let's go ahead. Go forward. Dialogue 4. Gültekin wants to go somewhere interesting. Okay? Somewhere beautiful, somewhere interesting, somewhere entertaining, somewhere amusing, somewhere good. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere good, somewhere famous, somewhere famous. Gül, uh, Gülten wants to go somewhere interesting for her whole day. Does Rauf want to go anywhere silent? Yes, of course. Rauf wants to go somewhere silent. Okay. No, with no, no, he doesn't, he doesn't want to go anywhere silent or uh, with second no, no. He wants to go nowhere silent. Okay. Something, anything, nothing, four plus four. I have something for dinner. I have something for you. I have something for Ahmed. I have something for my family. I have something for people. Okay. Do you have anything for lunch? Yes, I have something for lunch. With no, no, I have nothing for lunch. Or no, I don't have anything for lunch. Something, anything to do, to be or to have. For example, I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. Okay. Do you have anything... Delicious. Do you have anything delicious for lunch? Do you have anything to eat? Do you have, uh, have you got or have you got anything to drink for lunch? Yes. For example, yes, I have something. Yes, I have something delicious for lunch. Uh, yes, I have something to eat. Yes, I have got something to drink for lunch. Everything is perfect. Everything is perfect. Is everything perfect? Yes, everything is perfect. No, no, everything is not perfect. Everything always remains original. Okay, it has no variations. What does the image say? Everything is good. Yeah, a positive perspective. Everything is good, in fact. Uh, okay, something, uh, anything, nothing, plus prepositions in, on, about. Just like for, for, okay, in, on, about. For example, Ayşegül doesn't know anyone at the party. Ayşegül doesn't know anyone at the party. Who knows everyone at the party? Julie de knows everyone at the party, of course. In the short answer, who knows everyone at the party? Julie does. Okay, or the homeowner, the landlord, or the landlady knows everyone at the party. Okay, all right. Dialogue seven. Sally doesn't go anywhere without her mother. Or uh, Sally doesn't go anywhere with her mother. 
Okay, with without preposition. Silly goes nowhere without her mother. She goes everywhere with her mother. Okay. Does Helen go everywhere alone? No, Helen uh, doesn't go everywhere alone. Helen uh, goes everywhere again, everywhere with a family member. With a family member of her. Of hers. Okay. Of mine. A family member of mine, of yours, of hers. Okay. Dialogue 18. I am thirsty. There is something, there is something to play. Is there anything to drink? No, unfortunately, there is nothing to drink. But there is something juicy to eat. For example, watermelon. Juicy food, juicy fruit. Would you like some watermelon? Yeah, okay. Would you like some watermelon? Oh, yes, please. Is there anything to eat? Yes, there is something to eat. Would you like to read The War and Peace by Tolstoy, for example? There is War and Peace written by Tolstoy. Would you like to read it? Yes, please. Okay, dialogue nine. No one, again, they are separate from each other. They are in two words. No one, nobody knows what it is. Okay. Or anyone, anybody doesn't know what it is. Does anyone know where it is? Not where is it. Where is it is question. Does anyone know where it is? Yes. Someone, someone knows what it is or oh, where it is. Okay. Do, does anybody know how much it is? Yes. Uh, everybody knows how much it is. Does anyone know what it is for? Yes. Someone Someone knows what it is for. It is for keeping the food or food fresh. No one knows every time. Pierre Louis said, yes, a word, a wise saying. No one knows everything. Okay, a summary of what we are doing. No one knows everything. Everyone knows something. Yes, a really beautiful, uh, beautiful saying, sentence. Okay. Something, anything, nothing plus verb ing. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. For example, I can see somebody doing judo. I can see somebody studying English. Okay. I can see somebody walking in the garden. I can see somebody doing judo. Can you see anybody dancing a folkloric dance? No, I can't see anybody dancing a folkloric dance, but I can hear somebody singing a folkloric song. Can you hear anybody whispering right now? Yes, I can hear somebody, or for example, a definite uh, pronoun. I can hear a baby. A child now doing a child whispering right now. Okay. Or I can hear Omer whispering. Yeah. I can hear Omer. Uh, I can see Omer. I can see Omer uh, whispering. I can see Omer dancing. I can see Omer. Si I can hear Omer singing. Okay. Uh, can you hear anybody whispering right now? Yes, I can see somebody whispering right now. Okay, can you hear anybody thinking right, right now? Yeah, thinking right, right now, thinking positive, for example, positive. Can you hear anybody thinking positive right now at the moment? Yes, uh, I can see somebody thinking right. Thinking positive, thinking just right now. Do you know anybody giving swimming lessons? Yeah. Yes, I know somebody uh, giving giving swimming lessons. 
I know Tahsin Bey, for example. Tahsin Bey is a friend giving swimming lessons. Noun plus ing. Uh, Tahsin Bey is a friend giving swimming lessons. Okay. Adjective. We will uh, we will understand them deeply with their proof, with their evidence in the advanced level. Why is it like this? Okay, and we we will learn the original form of them in adjective clauses. Okay, a anything else to do? Question. Although the it isn't a sentence, the, they are a group of words. But when there is question, we should read it as if it is, uh, or we should read it as a question, not as if, but as. Okay. Anything anything else to do? Anything else to do? For example, do you know anything else to do? Uh, is there anything else to do? Okay. Can you see anything else to do? Can you tell me anything else to do? Okay. But in short, anything else to do? No. Anything, nothing to do. No. Anything to do. No. Nothing to do. Yes. Yes. Something to do. Yes, I can tell you something to do. I, yes, there is something to do. Yes, we have. We have something to do. Okay, there is something to it. Is there anything to drink? No, there isn't anything to drink. Is there anything to squeeze? No, there is nothing to squeeze. Is there anything to mesh? Yes, there is uh, something to mesh. For example, we mesh boiled potatoes but we squeeze yeah we squeeze a piece of lemon squeezing squeezing a piece of lemon okay dialogue 12 i'd like something i want something i'd like something to study would you like anything to watch no i would like nothing to watch would you like anything to read yes i'd like something to read I want something to sell. Do you want anything to buy? I want nothing to buy. Don't you want anything to do? Yes, I want something. I want something to do. So to do is the adjective of that, of uh, something. Yeah, I want something to do. I want a book to read, for example. I want a book to read. Okay. 14. There is a book to read. Okay. Tarık needs something to play. Yeah. Tarık, need, Tarık needs something to play. Does Leyla need anything to listen to? Because we cannot separate the second to from listen. We should use it. Listen to. Not just listen. Listen to. Does Leyla need anything to listen to? Yes. She needs something to listen to. They have something to draw, but here, just draw. Okay. Do you have anything to paint? Yes, we have something to paint. We will find something to explain. Will you find anything to ask? No, we will, we won't find anything to ask. We will, no, we will find nothing to ask. Okay. 17, she's going to. She's going to get something to eat. Is she going to get anything to drink? Yes, she's going to get something to drink. Or no, she's going to get nothing to drink. 18, they are carrying something to cook. Hmm, what kind of things are they carrying? What kind of things? They are carrying something to cook. Yes, something to cook. Are you carrying anything to fry? Yes, yes, I am carrying something to fry. 19. Them was, of course, we can use them in all tenses, past, present, future, including models. Yes. There was something to cut. Was there anything to chop? Yes, there was something to chop. There was something uh, there was something 
why did I write it again here? There was something to cut. There was something, huh? We can expand it. Yes, there was something to read. There was something to tell. There was something to amuse people. Okay. Was there anything? Was there anything? Uh, was there anything to write? Yes, there was something to write. Okay. Now again, this uh, somewhat uh, a summary, kind of summary, something plus adjective, for example. I must buy something wonderful. There was somebody tall. He wanted to go somewhere silent. Do you want anything sweet or bitter? I want something bitter. Do you want yogurt sweet or bitter? I want, I want uh, yogurt sweet. Yes, I, I want just like saying I want something sweet. Do you want your chocolate sweet or bitter? I want my chocolate uh, bitter. Okay, I visited somewhere interesting. I met someone smart, clever. I should clean. I should clean something fresh. Yes, I should clean something fresh. B, something to do. I can study. I, I can study something to learn English. Something to learn English. Of course, I can study something. Uh, to learn English is also a purpose of uh, purpose. Uh, adverb of purpose. Yes. Uh, why can you study? I can study some. Why can you study anything? I can study something to learn English. So intonation is to learn English. Okay. But here I can study something. I can something to learn. Something to learn. Okay. I can study something to learn English. Something to learn English. I want something to cook. Yes, I want something to cook. Okay. I have something to whisper. Can I whisper? Shall I whisper? I have something to whisper. For example, I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. I have something to tell you. Yeah, this is whispering. I have uh, whispered. Okay. See, something doing. Something plus verb ing. I want something cooking. I want something cooking. There was something whispering in the room. It was or there was someone crying. Yeah. Something cooking, maybe a robot. Robot. Yeah. Uh, I want a robot cooking. And that robot uh, cooks. Dinner, for example, meal. Okay. Now, uh, time to take a look at the D part. Something preposition. Okay. I want tea with cake, please. I want tea with cake, please. I could do something for your mother. I could do something for your mother. There was something around the lake, by the lake, near the lake. There was somebody, yeah. There was somebody near the lake, by the lake. Okay. I think it's clear. Now, to any, I bought something to watch. Yeah, I bought something to watch. Did you buy anything to listen? Yes. I buy, I bought, sorry, I bought something to listen. They brought something to give as a present. They brought something to give as a present. Did you buy anything to give to the guests? No, unfortunately, I didn't buy anything to give to the guests. Anything to give to the guests. Okay. 22. It was something to paint. It was something, something to paint in the box. It was. There was or there was. What was it? It was. What was there? There was. It was something to paint in the box. Was it anything to translate in the envelope? Yes, yes. It was something to translate in the envelope. Translate. 
Where was it? It was in the envelope. Now 23. I can bring something to it. Can you bring anything to drink? Yes, I can bring something to drink. For example, I can bring some coffee to drink. Is it clear? I can bring coffee or just coffee. I can bring coffee to drink. Now to do. What is the best time to drink coffee? What is the best time to drink coffee? Uh, morning is the best time to drink coffee. I think. I have something to share. Yes, I have something to share. I have time to share, for example. I have time to share. What do you have? What do you have to share? Yeah, intonation again here, very important. For example, what do you have to share? I have some lesson presentations presentations to share. Okay. I have something to share with uh, with the other people. But let's put the intonation. Uh, what do you have to share? Have to. If you put the stress, uh, if we emphasize have to, it becomes a uh, model phrase sentence. What do you have to share? I have to share. Yeah, then we answer like this. I have to share my experience. Okay, I have to share my experience. What do you have to share? Yeah, what do you have to share? I have some lesson presentations to share with the other people who wants uh, to learn English, who wants to acquire English. Okay, so like, share, and follow, and sub subscribe, yeah. If you like, please subscribe uh, this channel, English Acquiring Channel. Okay, Dialogue 24, A. I must find something. I must find something to explain the situation. Must you find anything to solve the problem? Yes, of course. I must. In fact, I have to. I have to find something to solve the problem. Or I must find something to solve the problem. Okay. Unemployment is booming, looming, approaching, coming, or just forthcoming. Yes. From the horizons. Some, something like this. Unemployment, unfortunately, it's a negative situation. Unemployment is uh, approaching from the horizon we all together we all together must find something to stop unemployment yeah to prevent unemployment okay 25 we should find something to entertain them something to entertain them can you find anything to serve for the picnic yes i can find something to serve for the picnic Whose turn is it to serve? It's my turn. Whose turn is it to serve? Again, now to do, for example, it's my turn to serve for the picnic today or to, uh, tomorrow or this weekend. This weekend. It's my turn to serve for the picnic this weekend. Yes, serving dinner at restaurant. Yeah, this image is about what's it about what's it about it's about serving dinner at restaurant at a restaurant okay another gift they are really enjoyable and very useful for especially our our business is acquiring english so we must make use of them they are maybe they are not very important for a mathematics teacher, physics teacher, or biology teacher, but they are very important uh, for uh, English learning. When it comes to English learning, they are very uh, valuable. Okay, it's my turn. It's my turn to serve for the picnic this weekend. The This friend says, 
when is it my turn? When is it my turn to serve for the picnic? Yes, I am looking forward, forward to it. I like it very much. Okay, so I am uh, I am waiting for my turn willingly. Okay. Okay, quiz time. Uh, tour two, trip four. So we are approaching uh, to the middle of tour two. Okay. Yes, please choose the correct alternative. Question one. Can you see? Can you see anything by the door? Can you see anything by the door? No, I can't see anything by the door, but I can see blank on the wall. I don't know what they are, but I can see something indefinite. They are indefinite. Okay? I can see something on the wall. But if we say, I can see some stickers, stickers of my grand uh, of my grandchild on the wall, then uh, stickers of my grandchild. My grandchild stickers. Okay, then it is definite. My grandchild's uh, stickers on the wall. It is definite. But here I can see something on the wall, but I don't know what they are. Okay. I am not sure about them. Uh, okay, I can see something. Yes, I told the answer. Sorry. Uh, at the first place. Okay. Uh, Question two, Gülten wants to go somewhere blank for her holiday. Interest is noun. To interest is verb. Interesting adjective. Interested adjective. Which of them is true? Gülten wants to go somewhere. A is wrong. Somewhere to interest. It is also wrong. Be, uh, for her all day, so uh, it is. Uh, it's again a matter of active and passive situation. Okay, interesting means active. Uh, interesting for the other people. Interested is passive. So, uh, an object, a place cannot be interested okay it doesn't have it doesn't have intelligence a place doesn't have intelligence so after learning a uh, passive voice passive structures we will understand again this structure very well okay uh, we will they they will always in our agenda why they are like this so interesting active form is Active, it's an adjective, okay? Go somewhere interesting, okay? For her holiday, holiday. Sally doesn't go blank without her mother. Sally doesn't go, negative sentence, anywhere, without her mother. Blank knows what it is. Blank knows what it is, what it is. So, nobody knows what it is or no one knows what it is. Okay. Have you got anything blank? <laughs> Have you got anything to say? Have you got anything to say? Yes, I've got something to say to the people, to the society. I have got something to say to the people. Okay. Now, uh, a long... Uh, but uh, I think uh, in two or three, after two or three videos, uh, we will finish uh, those reading passages and we will start vocabulary building, vocabulary enriching studies, okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, please be patient with me and let me read it. Okay, please be patient with me and let me read it. Let me start reading it. Okay. Romance is between logic and ethics. Hmm. Wherever there is a group of people, there are possibly three types of individuals as 
extremely formalistic, extremely informalistic, and balanced individuals among them, the three groups of people. Oppression is like a flood that destroys the environment. Okay, oppression is like a flood. Lethargy is like stagnant water. Moderation is like normally or naturally flowing water. Purpose is trying to have a have and maintain moderation, sustain, maintain, make it permanent, make it continue. Yes, purpose is trying to have and maintain moderation. Only balanced, moderated lives radiate justice, peace, love, and friendship like a fine-tuned musical instrument. So it means that uh, stagnant let, uh, oppression doesn't radiate justice, lethargy doesn't radiate justice, but moderation radiates justice, peace, and all positive qualities or all good qualities and values. Logic, what does logic say to us? What does logic say? Logic says that love and happiness are Love and happiness are the rights of a human being or humanity. The individual cannot be happy alone. Roman, so logic says that you should be you should be with the other people. It's a logic. It is rational. It is logical. It is logical that uh, we uh, we come together with the other people because. We cannot be happy alone. But romance says uh, that an individual should be loud and be happy. Should be loud and be happy. Ethics say that an individual must love to be loud and make others happy to be happy. So there is uh, in ethical in attitude, uh, in ethical, ethical manner, there is action, there is behavior. Living means kind of struggling. Yes, kind of struggling. Still struggling for what and how? Primarily, this living cannot include immoderation. Yes, an ethical. Uh, in ethical living uh, cannot include immoderation. Struggling not for extremes in uh, is an extreme manner, but struggling for moderation in a moderate manner may mean sort of living okay moderation may mean purifying our heart or soul refining the self of all kinds of extremes extreme false and negative things throughout the mankind history there have always been oppressive people who are strictly stick to the rules of or lethargic people who are unaware of rules or moderate people and moderate people who prefer balance and harmony. It's the nature of a human being to tend to be oppressive. Means to tend to cause discomfort or lethargic or moderate. Which need uh, which need to be guided. While oppressing neglects or refuses the meaning, it sublimes power and material. As for let lethargy, it already neglects almost both material and spiritual values. Moderation recognizes the true knowledge, emotions, belief, action, justice the balance between meaning and material, capital and labor, and balance between capital, the money, total amount of money, and labor, work, discipline, and freedom. The question is how every single individual is able to be moderate. Those three stages are valid for each of us. It's also clear that neither oppression nor lethargy is accepted 
but moderation is moderation is accepted everybody accepts it accepts it in fact moderation itself seems to be caliber virtue and ethics operational lethargy is never tolerated still every individual is tolerated humanity always deserves love discipline tolerance respect and admiration that's why throughout history there have always been ethics law and religion ethics law and religion are for the sake of both individual and society to live harmoniously cleanly and safely just peace of heart romance or just discipline of mind logic or just health of body homeostatic homeostatic balance cannot cause happiness but harmony between them can here means can cause happiness moderation determines decides makes up yeah makes up gives us moderation determines the good standards of behavior shortly to cut the long story short or shortly or in short logic can be described as the system of mind romance can be described as purity of love moderation of logic and romance leads to inner peace and happiness both here and hereafter actualizing moderation may also mean living safely truthfully neatly and cleanly yes this is turkish okay yes thanks for watching and please like share and subscribe if you like this video if you think that it is useful for you valuable for you please like share and subscribe